Nick Cannon's love life has gained a lot of attention over the last couple of years. Not only that, but his fatherhood has also gained some notoriety. Cannon isn't just a father to many children. He fathered four of those children between three moms in less than a year. In fact, in the last six years, he has fathered 11 children with five different women. The TV personality has a total of 13 kids. I like children, damn it! How did he manage this? From why Nick doesn't believe in monogamy to how his therapist encouraged him to be celibate. This is a story you don't want to miss. Although Nick Cannon doesn't exactly practice monogamy these days, it wasn't always that way. Who could forget his marriage to Mariah Carey? The pair tied the knot in 2008 and struggled to start their family as her first pregnancy ended in a miscarriage. However, exactly three years later, the singer gave birth to twins, Monroe and Moroccan. Sadly, things just weren't working out between the couple. They drifted apart due to their busy schedules and ended up separating in 2014. Their divorce was eventually finalized in 2016. Mariah and Nick have no bad blood between them and they've remained committed to drama-free co-parenting. Uh, there was no bad blood whatsoever. Unfortunately, the thing that became the most difficult was the media just trying to find stuff and fabricate things. And She always will be my homegirl. Whatever she does, that's Mariah Carey. She can do no wrong in my book, he said. This is where things started to get slightly complicated. Cannon then met beauty pageant queen Brittany Bell. By 2017, the pair welcomed their first child together, a son named Golden. This came not long after his divorce from Carrie was finalized. Just because my marriage was over didn't mean I couldn't continue my family, he said. Brittany and Nick then welcomed a daughter in December 2020 named Powerful Queen, and then their third child, Rise Messiah, in September 2022. After the birth of Rise, the comedian posted a sweet announcement. Thank you, Brittany, for my fellow little Libra. I love you and our incredible family, he wrote. The curious thing is that through it all, Belle has never been considered Cannon's girlfriend. He simply said they have a long history together, and that he wanted a baby mama who was solid, spiritual, and had the same views as him. Teach their own, right? During Belle's pregnancies, Cannon was already hard at work creating new siblings for his future kids. Cue Abby De La Rosa. In June 2021, just six months after his third child with Belle was born, De La Rosa gave birth to twins Zion and Zillian. Abby just gave birth to their third child on the 11th of November 2022, a daughter named Beautiful Zeppelin. This was the TV host's 12th child altogether. Since people started talking about Nick Cannon's love life and fatherhood more than usual, De La Rosa has had to defend their relationship. Being in a polyamorous relationship doesn't mean you have a low self-esteem or self-worth. Me being open in my relationship does not change or take away from the type of mother that I am, she said. Photos of Cannon are noticeably absent from DJ's Instagram feed, but she suggested that she's on board with a non-traditional arrangement. She also wants their children to do things in their own way and not the way the world wants them to, just like their mom and dad. His openness and honesty won my heart, but above anything, he is my dearest friend and my partner. He changed my life in all the most unconventional ways, she said. Now in the middle of all these children, there was Nick's third baby mama, Alyssa Scott. The pair had a daughter together, Zila. Then in June 2021, they had a son, Zen. Their son was born less than 10 days after his twins with Abby were born. At the same time, Brittany was expecting a child with him. Sadly, Zen was diagnosed with a brain tumor and the baby boy passed away when he was just five months old. I hold it, my son for the last time. This was, of course, a devastating time for Cannon and Scott, but they supported each other fully through the loss. She's the strongest woman I've ever seen. We never had an argument. She was emotional when she needed to be, but always was the best mom and continues to be, he said. Then, just one year after losing their son, Alyssa announced that the duo was expecting their third child together, and the baby is due in December 2022. Yes, this does mean she was pregnant at the same time as Abby. And yes, this will be Nick's 13th child. I wake up and feel like the luckiest man every morning. And it's just one of those things where it, I, it, it's almost surreal. And I know people probably get sick of it like, ah, whatever, you can't be that in love. But it's like, it's to live with someone that you have the same personality, you have the same likes, you have the same spirituality. It just, it just clicks, it just works. The model announced the pregnancy in a post with a photo of her, her daughter, and her baby bump. With you by my side, she wrote. However, the story doesn't end there. Bear in mind that none of these women are Cannon's girlfriends, and he isn't dating any of them. During all of this, there was also Brie Tiasi, but this was a little different as the couple had been dating on and off for 10 years. 
Him and I have had our on and off for years. I've always come back. He treats me amazing, so that's all I look at, she said. Brie finalized her divorce from NFL star Johnny Manziel in November 2021, and by January 2022 she was posing with Nick at their baby shower. The pair were welcoming their first child together in the TV host's eighth. I have three kids. I have eight. Cannon admitted that he wasn't sure how to announce the pregnancy with TAC because of the passing of Zen a few months before. So even going through all of that, this was always in the back of my mind, like, what is the right time? How do I share this? No one expected Zen to pass away, he said. Many wondered how Brie felt having a child with a man that had so many already and was expecting more. According to her, TAC wasn't nervous at all as she and Nick had been talking about going down this road for a long time. When we were finally ready, we were trying. There was no, oops, I got pregnant. I have a beautiful relationship. All of my needs are met and I'm very happy in our situation, she said. Then in July 2022, the pair welcomed a son, Legendary. Now she was officially part of Cannon's situation ships. TAZ openly discussed the dynamics of all the women in the host's life. She noted that she has plenty of love and respect for his relationships with his other children's mothers. All the women are very supportive of one another. After all, their children are half-siblings. She feels like everybody is focused on their own family and their own situation, but they know if anyone needs anything, the others are there. Then comes the sixth and final baby mama, Lenisha Cole. In September 2022, days prior to welcoming his third child with Brittany Bell, Nick welcomed his first child with Lenisha, a daughter named Onyx Ice. This was his ninth child. This birth shocked people as for the first time, Cannon didn't share that he was expecting. Once again today, I am in awe of the Divine Feminine. God has given me and Miss Lanisha Cole the privilege of hosting an angel here on Earth. I vow to protect, provide, guide, and love this child to the best of my abilities, he said. To recap in one year, Nick welcomed four kids with three different women. Since 2011, he has welcomed 10 kids with five women. In total, he has 12 children with his 13th on the way. Why doesn't he believe in monogamy, though? Given his dating history, it's no surprise that Cannon is averse to monogamy. Not that he hasn't tried. I, I guess because I'm a true romantic, I'm a true believer in love, and I allow the capsules of love to be where they lie. He was always faithful to Mariah Carey during their marriage. However, the experience opened his eyes to an alternative approach to relationships. I think I'll never be able to be with just one woman again. I did it in marriage. Once I stepped away from that, I realized that construct is not designed for me. It's that hunting mentality, he said. Nick has also half-jokingly cited his lupus diagnosis as a reason to stay single and avoid contraception. I'm living a life like, fuck, I might die in the morning, so let's fuck all night. So why wear condoms? I might not be here tomorrow, he said. Well, okay then. Cannon has said that his therapist has concluded that he practices consensual non-monogamy. He said he has practiced monogamy, been a cheater, and been toxic. But now it all starts with honesty. People like to classify what I do as polyamory or polygamy. But even that, I always say to define me is to confine me. What is a ring but really a band? I got you for life and I'll always be there. All of my children will always be friends, even if their mamas are not in agreement. he said. Is Nick done having children? According to him, he tried to be celibate in October 2021, and his child with Brie happened before that choice. But the fact that Abby just had another child suggests his vow of celibacy didn't go as planned. His decision was apparently encouraged by his therapist. Then in May 2022, he admitted to scheduling a vasectomy. The vasectomy. Lord knows I need one. I ain't looking to populate the earth completely. I don't have the bandwidth for it anymore. I feel like I owe the women that are in my life. I owe them all my energy, time, and effort. Especially my kids, he said. If the events of the latter half of 2022 are any indication, Cannon might not be slowing down anytime soon. All that really matters is that his children are healthy and happy. As long as he and the women in his life are happy with their situation, who should really have anything negative to say? I'll, I'll never try to get it right. I'll never try to be that perfect example. We look forward to seeing how this story evolves, hoping that he actually can be there in all his kids' lives. And we are excited for Nick to welcome baby number 13. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this wild story. As always, this has been Rumor Juice. Be well and be kind.